So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the last video of this export to series. I have a playlist down below, so you can just go and check all the videos if you want to. But in this video, what we're going to do is to export data to an existing Excel file and add data to it, so add rows to it. Okay, let's get started. So for this video, I am going to reuse an already existing flow. So I have a pl playlist down below with a ton of examples on how to export data. Pick the one that fits you best. And in this case, I'm going to pick one where we're getting data out of Power BI, filter by the filters on Power BI. Okay, but you can use anything. And this is the way it looks. You have on Power BI button click, you have a filter category, you have a country category, and then there is a query here that based on the filter selected on the report will filter the data. And then what we're going to do now is to export it to Excel. So the next step is going to be add rows um, to a table. And there are a few things that you need to do first. First of all, you need to have that Excel file already created somewhere. It doesn't have to have any data, but it has to exist. This thing does not create Excel files, okay? So I already have one here. You can see it's a um, store in SharePoint, and I've already saved some data while I was trying other flows. So that's my file. The table, you, the data has to be stored on a table. So if you go to table design, here it has to be a table. If you have a data that is not on table, you need to go to here instead, insert and table, okay? So once you have that, it's very, very easy. So this is what you do. You go and locate the file. So SharePoint, so do, 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 SharePoint YouTube. And then you go to the document library where your file is stored. In my case, it's the vaccine tracker. And then you go and grab the file from there. In my case, it's called export to Excel. Now, you need to pick the table. Again, it has to have a table. So my table was called table one, so I have it there. And once that you recognize the table, it gives you the actual columns. So it says, okay, there are three columns on that table, which is actually true. You can see them here. Yeah, category name, country and sales, and that's the one that I'm being offered here. So once I have them, I just need to map them. So category name to category name. Then I have to do country with country and sales with sales, save, and that's about it. There's one thing though, that is important because it, I just didn't have it and it drove me mad before I found it. Your button has to have all the fields that you want to export to Excel on the button. Otherwise, the ones that are not there will not get exported. I lost an hour of my life figuring that out, so you don't have to. So let's grab some uh, filters, run the flow, and check it out. So here I have the flow, is just run, and here I have everything went fine, beautiful. And now let's check my Excel file. And there we have it. You can actually see this thing running live, it's actually quite cool. So you have, let me pick something, beverages and Brazil, and this is line 29 round flow and you hear you see the 30 here so this is that easy so with all the videos that i have shown you you will be able to create smart alerts you will be able to export data out of power bi anywhere you like you will be able to for example set a folder for today's date whatever data comes today export it and append it to an excel file continuously you would you you, the world is your oyster. You can do anything. This is the coolest thing ever. So I hope you enjoyed the videos as much as I had. I have to stop now. I can't do any more videos, but it's been a lot of fun. So hopefully this will help you on your quest to smart alerts and exporting data. And I will see you again 
maybe next week, maybe I take the week off, we'll see. <laughs>